If you want to set up your Casio WS1700H to match the official tide records as closely as possible, this video will show you how. We'll get it to show the times of the high tide and of the low tide in your area. Not only that, but the watch will also be able to tell you the current moon phase as well as moon phases in the future. And that's coming up on Wrist Action. Now the manual does give you the information which you need to enter for a number of tidal sites and if yours is one of them, then use that. However, the country where I live, which is Ireland, is not in the list and if yours isn't either, I'll show you how to get the information using the tidal site of Dublin as an example. The tidal area that I have chosen is North Wall in Dublin. To enter it as a location into the watch, you will need to find out three pieces of information. These are the UTC differential, GPS location and lunar tidal interval. The first two pieces of information are easy to get with a quick Google search. And I'll also show you how to get the third piece of information using a free website that will calculate the information for you. To get the UTC differential, just Google UTC time difference and your location. This is the number of hours and minutes your location varies from universal coordinated time. At the moment it's saying that there is no time difference between UTC time and the time in Dublin, so the value is zero. But don't forget that this value will change when switching over to daylight saving time. To get the GPS coordinates of my tide site, I'm using a website called latitude.to. And also copy the cardinal direction for the longitude. All we need now is the lunar tidal interval, which is the third piece of information to enter into the watch. This is done by using this complex looking formula, which is a bit too much for my little brain to handle. So we'll head on over to this website to calculate it for us. The website is called lunatidal-interval.com and all we need to do is to enter the GPS coordinates, which we've already obtained. And here we are at the site, which is a lunar tidal interval web app calculator. To get our value, fill in the fields that the site is asking. And the first field is the latitude, which is this value. Then fill in the longitude, which is this value. Press next. And next again. The last value that the site requires is the time of the next high tide after 1 minute past 1 in the morning on the 26th of March. And I was able to get this information from my local forecast, which shows that it will be at 12.13 in the afternoon. And the web app has calculated the lunar tidal interval time of 11.11 .11 for the site of North Wall in Dublin. So we now have all the values which we'll need and next we'll enter the UTC differential, the longitude and the lunar tidal interval into the watch. To enter the values into the watch, press the adjust button two times. First we'll enter the value for the UTC differential and use the buttons on the right to increase or decrease the values. Then press the mode button to enter the longitude value. The watch only accepts absolute values so we'll round the longitude to 6 degrees west. Finally press the mode button again to enter the lunar tidal interval which is 11 minutes past 11. Then press the adjust button to escape and you're all done. 
Now let's test for the accuracy of the tide graph. But before we do so, I want to set your expectations by drawing your attention to the information in the manual. In the second paragraph of their disclaimer, it says this watch is not an instrument for calculating low tide and high tide times. The tide graph of this watch is intended to provide a reasonable approximation of tidal movements only. But let's see how reasonable an approximation it gives. The window on the right shows the official forecast on the day of recording. Bear in mind though that the watch can only show the tide in hours. The first high tide is reported to be 4.40 in the morning, so I would expect the watch to show the first high tide at 5 in the morning. Let's set the watch to the tide graph mode and move the time to 5 in the morning. And as expected it is showing a high tide. The first low tide is reported as 10.25 in the morning on the official record. Moving the time to 10 o'clock, the watch is reporting a tide going down, but not quite at its lowest point, which is a reasonable approximation. The second high tide is at 5.27 in the afternoon. The watch can't show the tide for this time and so it shows a high tide at 5pm and also at 6pm. The second low tide is at 11.03 in the evening. Moving the time to 11 o'clock in the evening, the watch is also reporting a low tide, which is almost spot on. Overall, I think that the watch does give a reasonable approximation of tide times. What do you think? One use for having a tide graph that I can think of is perhaps when you're on holiday and you want to plan a visit to the beach, so knowing if the tide is high or low may come in handy. And now let's test out the moon phase graph. For today the moon is at the first quarter which matches that shown on the watch. Let's move the date forward to the 25th and the watch should predict a full moon. Which it does. On the 2nd of April there should be a third quarter moon. Let's see what the watch shows. Finally, let's see whether it predicts a new moon on the 8th of April. It does so and the moon graph on the watch seems to be pretty accurate. Overall, the WS1700H seems to be quite accurate at predicting the moon phases and gives a good indication of high tide and low tide times. I hope that this video has helped you out in some way for setting up the tide graph on your watch. Thank you folks, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you next time.